after CNN blackmails Trump GIF creator, Julian Assange gives them a brutal surprise. We've all seen the clip, President Donald Trump seemingly body-slamming CNN. Although the left tried to play it off as if Trump was inciting violence, that didn't work out so well, so the mainstream media decided to go after the person who created it. Too bad for the morons who decided to blackmail the GIF creator, they just got hit with a brutal surprise, courtesy of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange himself. For those unaware, a GIF is simply a small video that is just looped on and on forever. However, it seems that one is a bit more popular than all the rest these days after President Donald Trump posted this little number to Twitter. Hash fraud news cash web link. Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, July 2, 2017. Now, it doesn't take a genius to see the clip is metaphorical and that he's winning the war on fake news and anti-Trump propaganda that he faces from groups like CNN and MSNBC every single day. Of course, if you're a buthered liberal that has nothing better to do than picking a fight for the sake of arguing, well then, this would be your moment to shine. And, just like that, those working for leftist propaganda networks came out of the woodwork to say that the president was inciting violence against them. Unfortunately for them, their little wine fest didn't do any good and actually made them look worse in the long run by being so petty. However, that wasn't about to stop the little pity party throwing children from getting the attention they thought they so rightfully deserved. In fact, when they realized that attacking Trump is having an adverse effect, they decided to go right for the source the person who created the funny clip. All of a sudden, CNN had issued an expose of Reddit user Hannah Hull Solo, basically saying that they had blackmailed him into apologizing. In short, they threatened to expose the man's true identity, knowing full well that nothing good would come of it, in order to force the man into giving up his First Amendment rights. CNN is not publishing Hannah Hull Solo's name because he is a private citizen who has issued an extensive statement of apology, showed his remorse by saying he has taken down all his offending posts, and because he said he is not going to repeat this ugly behavior on social media again. In addition, he said his statement could serve as an example to others not to do the same. CNN reserves the right to publish his identity should any of that change. Source, CNN before long, CNN anchors were seen on the network practically giddy as they celebrated their dishonorable deed. I thought it was remarkable that CNN found the Reddit user who created the GIF, Cam Rota said. The investigative team went back and found the guy who first created this, she added. The host was nearly beside herself after the network's actions against the private citizen compelled him to apologize. How often do you hear someone who creates a video, goes viral, and apologize, she said, reading his lengthy statement. Source, The American Mirror. However, things have most recently taken a nasty turn as Julian Assange himself has stepped out of the shadows to personally deliver a brutal surprise to CNN. As it turns out, the network's actions were illegal, as defined by law, and punishable by prison time, fines, or both. CNN just committed a crime violating Section 135.60 of the New York Criminal Code Coercion T.co web link pic.twitter.com web link. Julian Assange, at Julian Assange, July 5, 2017. CNN also appears to have committed a federal felony violation of 18 U.S. Code Section 241 in relation to the First Amendment T.co web link pic.twitter.com web link. Julian Assange, at Julian Assange, July 5, 2017. Of course, CNN quickly tried to reverse their story, saying that the creator apologized before they wrote him, but it was already too late. WTF. At file caught lying about his dog's threat. Pick.twitter.com web link. Mike Cernovich, Cernovich, 